Welcome to my channel. This reading is for those of you that have strongly Capricorn in your chart. If you're interested in a personal reading, all the information you need is below in the description box. Let's start. Capricorn, March 2024. The sun is coming out. Good news, peace, harmony, excitement, enthusiasm. So something is coming into fruition. Something that you have been manifesting, something that you have been wishing for, desiring. Okay, Capricorn. Okay, Seven of Swords. Now, the Seven of Swords is a shady energy. Hmm? Interesting that it's coming out after the sun. <clears throat> so, Capricorn, this is telling me that something will come clear or someone will come clear. Okay. So Capricorn, you are receiving clarity. We also have the King of Swords, the King of Chute, holding the Sword of Chute. Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Capricorn, please. Two more shuffles, shuffles, shufflers, shufflers. <laughs> Capricorn. Three of Swords. I saw the Three of Swords, but I feel that this is not your energy. Maybe it was in the past, right? Yes, recent past, could be. Hmm. So, okay. You were struggling, Capricorn. It was raining, pouring. Hmm. As I said, the sun is coming out. Always it comes out after the storm. Hmm. Are we ready for Capricorn? Karmic justice. We are definitely ready. Capricorn. Let's see. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Cups energy. And again, I'm getting to this as a past energy. Maybe some of you are going through this right now. Okay? Okay? And the advice here with the Five of Cups is to... Um, Change your perspective hmm? because there has been no loss. Nothing has been lost. Okay. So again, this yet, um, what is coming through? Um, so focusing on the positive side of things and maybe you are not seeing that positive, the positive, you know, outcome or a po the, posit the positive um, so maybe again you're not seeing it but with the clarity that you will receive the information I feel that this will help you to change your perspective. Okay? So focusing on the positive side of things. Yes? Okay. First card for you is the Nine of Pentacles. The Three of Swords. The Two of Swords, the High Priestess, the Page of Pentacles, and finally, Judgment. Capricorn, you are called to reevaluate. Yes, to reconsider, to reevaluate a relationship, your job your life, your whole being, your mindset, your patterns. Mm? Okay. Yes. By doing so, by doing so, 
you will make the right choice, the right decision for yourself. Okay. You are highly independent here. Yes, you are independent. You are, sur you are surrounded by abundance. The Nine of Pentacles is exactly that. Again, there is no lack. There's no lack. There's no... There's no Hmm? There's no lack. There's no loss. So, let's start clarifying. Why is this Three of Swords here? Because obviously something has disappointed you. Uh, very much so. Okay? Yes, Capricorn, starting with the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, for a lot of you, there has been a connection, a soulmate connection that did not, uh, did not unfold the way that you would want it to unfold. It could be that the masks are, you know, have fallen. Whatever this is, and it's going to be different for each and every one of you, has put you in this position to make a final decision when it comes to this person, this individual, okay? I'm gonna put this back in the deck. I guess not. <laughs> I think it's falling out of the deck. Okay, so again, to find the Nine of Pentacles for Capricorn, thank you. We have the Three of Wands. And again, it's waiting, waiting for our um, manifestation to come into fruition. You are waiting for something here, yes? You have been waiting for something. Mm -hmm. Ten of Pentacles. This could be a um, an upgrade. Yes, uh, a raise. Maybe you just have yeah. Maybe you have applied for another job, or you have Im implemented. I, that's what I'm hearing. Um, okay. So maybe you also have been uh, taking steps to, to, to upgrade yourself, your home, um, your business. Maybe there have been some uh, setbacks when it comes to this. This is why the Three of Swords is here. We're fine, please, the three of wands with the ten of pentacles for Capricorn. We have the emperor here. Mm. The emperor. Okay. Okay. We have victory. You will reap the fruits of your label. Label. La labor. Capricorn, oh my goodness, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, Capricorn. <laughs> English is not my first language. No. Greek is my first language. Still, okay. <laughs> I think I'm doing pretty well. <laughs> so, 
you will reap the fruits of your labor. Mm -hmm. You are victorious here because all the energy that you have put in is, is not, you know, is not going to be lost here. It's not, it's not lost. Yeah. This is very interesting because, you know, sometimes, you know, we, we put energy and time um, in a specific project or in a person. And again, it does not turn the way that we have planned uh, pl uh, planned, or the way that we wanted it to, to, to unfold or whatever. But something else grows out of that. Yes. And this is what I'm seeing here. This is exactly what I'm seeing. So this is like an, an unexpected. Opportunity proposal mm. that maybe somehow some way is connected with this king of swords the king of swords is all also um authority huh? legal matters health um yes uh, documents uh, this could be a lawyer it could also be a soulmate soulmate connection mm. like let's say you thought that this specific person the specific person was the one for you the right person for you and it turns out this person is not who you thought they were right and then as soon as you make the decision to move forward you meet the one yeah could be oh yes it has happened many times so moving on with the Three of Swords, Capricorn, let's see what, why the Three of Swords is here. Mm. Taking a chance, yes, starting a new journey with the Ace of Wands also here. Again, it's hard to, to let go. It is a bit hard to let go with the Three of Swords here. Maybe doubts are kicking in or fears, and it's absolutely like normal. It's absolutely normal. But again, to be honest, I'm really getting here that you have no other choice. You have no other choice. And this is all about going with the flow. Yes? Trusting, riding the wave, as yes, allowing that wave to lead you, because this is, yeah, riding the wave and trusting that you are being led towards the right path, the right job, the right person, the right neighborhood, the right country, the right, mm, yes. Do we find the fool with the three of swords for Capricorn? Do not resist. Yes. I saw the seven of wands. Resisting will, 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 um, uh, resisting will be painful. Yes. It will also, um, uh, I am hearing a word, um, but I, it's not the right one. Um, like things will go more slow. Yes, if you resist, if you surrender mm, and accept and ride the wave, things will come more fast. If you resist, mm, five of wands. Okay. 
mean, you don't need to know tarot. We can see what's going on here. Okay. Stall. 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 Whatever. What does stall mean? When something is stall, isn't that, doesn't that mean that it's moving slowly? No? Stall. Whatever. Okay, sorry. To find, please, the Fool, the Three of Swords for Capricorn. We have the Four of Swords, and this is a lot of like, okay, this is healing. This is your snapping out of it, and you're snapping out of this fast, which is a very good thing, yes? Yes. We also have the Three of Cups, which is good news. I just also heard a change of heart, good news. So whatever situation you were in and it felt uncomfortable, it felt, you know, like heavy. You are um, growing out of it. You're growing out of it. Okay. You're growing out of it. You're letting it go, you're growing out of it because you have made this decision to do so. There's a lot of acceptance in this reading. Yes, a lot of acceptance. Yeah, yes, let's go back there because it's very, yes, this is what, what is coming through is important. Yes, yes, because as I said before, okay, let's say we have planted a seed and we are expecting the seed to grow, right? And it's not growing. And suddenly there is from out of nowhere, something else is growing that has more potential, right? This is accepting, accepting that this is happening, accepting that this is happening for a reason, accepting that, okay, it was meant to grow up to here, but I want more. Right? So now you are, uh, uh, yes, accepting also that you need to focus your energy on a, on something else, yes, or someone else that has more potential. Yes? Okay? Okay. Entering into calmer waters. Six of swords. Yes. Putting our ego to rest. Mm -hmm. Because again, our ego wants what it wants. But there is no point, right? To, 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 to struggle, to, uh, you know, suffer. No. There's a, also a lot of wisdom here. Mm -hmm. Yes. You have gained a lot of wisdom while going through all this. The Hermit. Mm -hmm. So your energy, Capricorn, the Queen of Pentacles. Clear fine, please, the Two of Swords, decisions, choices for Capricorn. Thank you. Yeah, temperance. What needs to go will go to make room and space for what is meant to come. What is meant? What is for you? And the sun is coming out again. You see the sun that is coming out? Yes. And you are guided with this angel. Patience also is needed here. Patience. For, for for something to grow. But again, acceptance if it doesn't. And moving on. Okay? Four of Wands is your foundation. Inner, outer, it's your foundation. Your your legacy. Right? Your your empire. This is also um 
commitment in marriage, strength. It does require a lot of strength to accept that whatever we are putting our energy and our effort in is just not growing. It was meant to grow up to here. There's no more. There's no more. There's no more. So again, what are we going to do about it? Are we going to sit there and, and feel sorry for ourselves or cry or be desperate because it's not growing? We'll change, we will change our focus. This is what we have to do. Page of Swords. Nine of Swords. Oh, you are determined here. Whoa. You are taking actions. The actions that you are shown to take. King of Wands, Leo Sagittarius, Aries Energy. See what I mean? The Five of Pentacles is exactly what I was talking about. Because in this Five of Pentacles energy, there is um, uh, lack. Lack of, um, yes, of growth. Lack of movement. You cannot make the cripple walk. You cannot do that. Or you cannot make this cripple like walk faster. You understand what I mean? It's like this is the pace. This is the this. It is what it is. Exactly. Thank you. It, it is what it is. And accepting that, yes, it does. It, it does require a lot of strength, especially if you have invested in this. Again, I'm saying the same thing, right? So you find this King of Wands, please, for Capricorn. Thank you. Yes. You are on a, new, on a new adventure here. You are on your chariot. Yes, this is you on the chariot. Moving forward. In this energy, no one is blocking you. No, one's no, no one. No one and nothing is blocking you. Embodying the energy of the King of Wands. The action taker. And again, this looks very, very promising. It's promising. And it comes in as a surprise. It's a surprise. A good one. Do I find Capricorn's energy here with the Queen of Pentacles, please? Thank you. Two of Pentacles. Mm, the Tower. <laughs> and the Knight of Wands. Don't overthink. I don't think that you, maybe you are, especially if this is like a, a major decision in your life or it's important, like it's important. Something is important to you. And I mean, obviously, if you have put so much energy into it, whatever that is, a connection, a job, project, you know, school, whatever that is, a marriage. Hmm. But the tower, the tower is like, okay, you cannot control the tower. No. You cannot control the tower. Capricorn. You cannot control the tower. Queen of Swords. Queen of Cups. Hmm. And I'm seeing you putting a lid on your cup. Mm. Controlling your, your, your feelings. Balancing your heart with your mind. With the information that you are receiving. Messages information like literally messages and information through text email or from your higher self so you are advised here to put a lid on your cup and protect your energy protect your legacy protect your your home 
your family, your job. There is something really beautiful that is meant for you and it is in your future and for a lot of you this has to do with um with, with love yes with love or something that you love that's something that you love to do it doesn't have to be romantic even though there is the lovers the lovers are here yeah we have the lovers we have the hierophant and the hierophant is marriage is commitment is also a community a um yes a company it is yes you see the information that is coming towards you again this is like could be a, literally an email or a phone call that will make you very happy when it's changing the course it's changing uh yeah it's changing your your course here F for a good reason right yes I'm going to find, please, the High Priestess for Capricorn. Three of Cups, good news. Yes. Look how now the Three of Cups that are spilled here are standing up. Look. Yes, I'm going to come closer for this. You see that? How the Three of Cups that are spilled are now standing up here. Yes. And again, it's putting an end. The, 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 the good news are putting... The good news that you are receiving are putting an end to a cycle, a vicious cycle, a cycle of something that um, was just not, it had no, no, no more growth, no potential. Page of Pentacles, something new, fresh energy, something new. And again, this new, whatever this is, the new that is coming in your life is, is a wish fulfillment and it's very healing. So again, here with the seven of wands, don't resist whatever is coming to an end or whatever is changing. Just go with it. Yes, go with it. Go with it. Accept it. Go with it. This is really beautiful. Mm. Again, and I'm going to end it here because this is a powerful message. Reevaluating, reconsidering what works, what does not work. Yes, for you. For your highest good and everyone you know that is involved if anyone is involved okay so let's see now what is your spiritual message your message from your animal spirit Ooh, this was a long reading yes i really hope this helped somehow some way Capricorn, ooh, black jaguar old soul, walk through life with confidence and grace. You have power from beyond the world. Focus on what you really want. You can create your dreams. And this is what I got for you, Capricorn. Until next time, take care. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.